Ladies and gentlemen, so we got him. Alright, you're probably wondering why that opening was so dramatic for a video that's about data and numbers. Well, here's why. These results are from my last acceleration test video, and the F-16 just destroys everything at every altitude. It's not even a competition. However, in this video, I'm going to show you a significantly more realistic test with external tanks fitted. And spoiler alert, the F-16 doesn't always take the crown. Two external fuel tanks being fitted is a common scenario for a variety of real-life missions. Pretty much every aircraft on this list, not you, utilizes external tanks. I decided to exclude any missiles or external munitions, as not all of these aircraft can carry the same weapons. The fuel capacity of each jet's external tanks is remarkably similar, except for the Mirage 2000. Its wing-mounted external tanks are huge, as you can see here, so take its results in this test with a grain of salt. Here are the results at 1000 feet. The test parameters for all tests are on the right-hand side of the graph, and at 1000 feet the F-16 just claims the win. But don't worry, it's about to be very upset. The 10,000 foot results show the F-15C just edging out the F-16, but the Tomcat comes out of nowhere with a 44 second run. I had to retest this and the data held up. The Tomcat is almost as fast as when it has no externals fitted. I actually think its flight model could be broken. 20,000 feet has disappointing results from the F-15, however the MiG-29 claws back some respect. The F-16 technically edges out the F-14, but that's close enough for me to class it as a tie. The poor Mirage though, it's struggling big time with those massive externals. The 30,000 foot results are from 200 to 600 knots. This is due to two aircraft not being able to reach 650 knots with external tanks fitted at 30,000 feet. Let me know in the comments if you can guess which ones they are. The Viper is coming back strong here. It wins with no debate at 30,000 feet but the Tomcat is a very close second, with nothing else really in the same ballpark as it or the Viper. If you add the numbers up from each altitude for an all-around comparison, you'll see what I mean. The F-15 tried its best, the MiG-29 is good up high, the Hornet hates being above 550 knots, and the Mirage is basically a civilian airliner when it has those wing tanks fitted. The Su-27 can't use external tanks and its results are without them and added for reference only. If you want to compare these times with my previous test that had nothing on the outside of the jet, the graph from my previous test is at the start of this video. Please leave a like if this info was interesting or useful. Subscribe if you want more DCS info like this and leave a comment with your thoughts. Thanks. See ya.